Hey friends, it's Emily from burlapkitchen.com where I'm all about simplicity. Today we're going to be making a fun 2x4 XO sign. So the first thing you're going to want to need is, or you're going to want to get is two 2x4s two stacked together. The size of these are going to depend on the size of your XO letters. So we're also going to use some wood glue and some hot glue. And then I am just going to smush these together and hold them in place until they dry. The wood glue will give it um, a stronger hold and then the hot glue will allow it to dry quicker and hold quicker. So I had to wipe that out because some of my glue dripped down the center. So go maybe a little lighter on the glue than what I had did. So I'm just going to wipe that out real quick with a rag and I'm going to lay my XO on there just to make sure everything fits. I actually got these on clearance. Anytime you see clearance letters, think of what you could spell with them and grab a few for your craft stash. So now I'm going to take some stain. I'm using Minwax in the color Dark Walnut and I'm going to rub it on and rub it off. You can see what happened there where that glue dripped down and the stain didn't stick. Uh, so I'm just going to use the other side. So again, I'm just using a foam brush to apply that and then just a rag to wipe it off. Normally I just use a rag for everything, but my gloves were down in the garage and I didn't feel like going down to get them. So I just did it this way so my hands didn't get so messy, but they still ended up messy. <laughs> So I'm just going to rub that one and rub it right back off and then make sure to get in the crease there. And again, that side I'll make the back since it kind of, kind of messed up a little bit. Then I have my XO and these are almost like, um, I want to say it's called MDF board. It's not like wood. I got these at Hobby Lobby, either Hobby Lobby or Michaels, but they were on clearance. So I grabbed a few. So I'm just going to stain them. I'm only doing one side because you're not going to see the back. So I'm not worried about it. So again, I'm just brushing that on and wiping it off with my rag, just like I did the two by fours. Perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to set that aside and I am going to paint my two by fours. I'm using this pink color from Apple Barrel. I believe that was Apple Barrel. Um, just any pink color that you like, or actually any color you want. You could even do red would look pretty. I'm going to make sure that's nice and dry before I start painting though. Make sure your stains dry. I'd recommend staining and then um, painting the next day. So I'm just going to apply this paint. I did the other side already. Um, and I'm just going to do the same thing over here. I'm just going to brush this paint on. So I get, always get questions why I stain and then I paint. I do that because I like the way it looks when you sand it and you get those nice dark edges. You'll see here in a second. So I'm just making sure everything is nice and dry using my heat gun. I get a lot of questions about this. If you are interested in that, let me know in the comments and I'll leave you my affiliate link. So now I'm just going to dry brush some chalk paint. I'm using, using both acrylic paints and chalk paints. It, it, they both work really well for this project. So I just used a chip brush to apply that. And again, I'm making sure it's nice and dry before I move on. It's looking pretty good to me. I'm just doing the edges and the corners, anything I think I'm missing. making sure everything uh, looks good to me. And then I'm going to give it another dry. So now I'm going to take my sanding block and you'll see how the paint starts to come off and you can see those dark edges through the paint. I love that. It looks so rustic and I absolutely love that. So now we're going to take our XO. I was originally going to leave them stained, but I didn't care for it. So I slowed this down so you could see what it looks like if you want to stain it. Um, but I wasn't loving it stained, so I decided I'm going to paint it white. <laughs> so I changed my mind so many times during projects sometimes. Do you guys do that? Give me some hearts if you do that too. So I'm just going to uh, paint this with some white chalk paint. I needed two coats of white chalk paint for this. So I'm going to give it a nice dry here, and then I'm going to add a second coat of white chalk paint. And I'm just using a foam brush for this. It worked really well. They're nice to keep on your craft stash. So now I'm going to give that a quick dry and then I'm going to take a sanding block over it again to expose those dark edges and make it look a little more rustic. I'm just making sure I get the edges nice and good. And I did take one over the center, a couple swipes over the center there with my sanding block. You can grab those at uh, Dollar Tree. So then I'm just going to hot glue my X and my O right onto my two by four, just like that. And perfect. I absolutely love how this one turned out. I hope you guys do too. So for more fun ideas just like this, please follow burlapkitchen.com. Thank you.